Stay on this theme of obesity for just a little bit longer. Oh, several, great. <laughs> <laughs> several countries, including Hungary and Denmark, are battling the obesity epidemic by hitting their citizens' wallets. They've implemented nominal fat taxes on unhealthy foods. France has an extra tax on sweetened drinks, and Peru plans to impose a junk food tax in the coming months. But according to a recent British study, in order for a fat tax to be effective, it must be fat. Researchers say the tax would have to make consumers dig deep 20% or more with more than a two-thirds of American adults overweight or obese we're certainly straining the scales here in the US of A so we want to know what you think should there be a renewed push for so-called fat tax right here in the US mm. do we really want the do we really want the government that came up with the food pyramid that says eat a bunch of eat a bunch of bread and rice and pasta which now we're showing that's what causes cholesterol yeah. it causes damage in, in, in our arteries it's not the fat. There's good fat. Do we really want the government making this decision for us? It's just that's outrageous. Well, first of all, I think it's kind of ironic that a country named Hungary is, is working <laughs> on this, this particular text. But also, I mean, again, to your point, I mean, who decides what's healthy? I mean, there's a lot of, quote, fat-free foods out there mm -hmm. that, that on the surface appear to be healthy, uh, but they're not. They're loaded with calories, and, and so should those be taxed too? You know, I mean, it's easy to point to soft drinks or ho-hos and, and, and Big Macs, but I mean, Anything, and then you, then you talk about the the portion sizes and the, and the amounts of food people eat. I mean, to, to try and regulate this is ridiculous. Plus, it's probably a regressive tax anyway that's yeah. going to affect the low income people much more. You know, people with money can afford to go eat at a good, healthy restaurant. Poor people go to drive-throughs, and so many people agree with you. You know, there's I know folks who are very skinny who eat nothing but soda pop and candy, mm -hmm. and they're this them. big. You know, <laughs> yeah. so do you do you tax the the person or the food? Right. That's yeah. the question. Here's what you're saying on Facebook. Carol Turney says, "Why not? They already tax the heck out of cigarettes and alcohol products." Wes says, "Why discipline us all? Some of us have a have a thing called self-control." Herbert Giron says, "No, that's discriminatory, and the government uh, just f trying to find another way to take." taxpayers money it's a scam with the government's approval Ron Jackson fat taxes should be imposed on fat people not the food New York tried to push this through a fat Wow tax so we, we want to tax the kid who got taken from his mom <laughs> no. what's going on my That's goodness another debate for another yeah. day just move to Hungary <laughs> right. eat all you want there yeah. Yeah. Uh, though are saying hey you know we added the tax to the cigarettes and we saw a big decrease in use yeah yeah but I mean then you start talking about shoes that that screw up your heels and your arches and your right. legs well, listen we to start this. taxing everything I, I want you to hear this. The study suggested that an 18% tax, 18% on pizza and soda, could cut calorie intakes for enough Americans to lose five pounds in a year. And who's to say that pizza's unhealthy? I think it depends yeah. on where you get it. Well, yeah. I think your viewer had it, hit it right on the head. Why punish the rest of us? I right. mean, you know, why should I have to pay a fat tax if I don't care about losing weight? <laughs> Yeah, you know, and he, he apparently has some self-control because he mentioned one of my favorite meals, which is soda and ho-hos. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Breakfast Together. of champions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, keep the debate going on Facebook. Still to come on ABC.